Hello there, it's Austin. Today we're going to brew a strong and slightly malty lager that's usually associated with the start of summertime, the Hellesbach. So let's get started. We'll start off the Hellesbach brewing process by collecting four and a half gallons of reverse osmosis water. After the mash and boil steps, we'll be down to around 3.25 gallons, and into the keg we'll end up with right around 2.6 gallons. With our anvil foundry set to our desired mash temperature of around 149 degrees, it's time to adjust our water with the following additions of calcium chloride, epsom salt, and gypsum. The fermentables for this Hellesbach recipe will be 40% Pilsner malt, 40% Vienna malt, and 20% Munich light. Altogether, these are similar ingredients that I might use in a Helles recipe, but with slightly different ratios to enhance the maltiness just a touch. You might see more traditional or historically inspired brewers performing a decoction mash for a Hellesbach, which is a process that includes removing some of the mash, boiling it in a separate container, and then returning it to the main kettle, but man, I wasn't feeling up to all of that today, so I went with a more traditional, for me, 60-minute single infusion mash. At the conclusion of which, I pulled my grain basket out and then recirculated my wort back through the draining grains just to collect any extra efficiency that I might have missed there. At this point, it's time for the boiling step, so I move my kettle outside and begin the temperature ramp. The first hops that I'll be adding to this batch will be at the 30 minute mark, and that will be a half ounce of Hallertau Magnum, contributing almost to 30 IBUs. I'm really looking for a classic bitter German noble hop character, so I'll round out the hop additions at the 5 minute mark with 1 ounce of Hallertau Mittelfru. After the 60 minute boil step, it's time to cool our wort down using my stainless steel immersion chiller. A quick gravity check showed we were slightly under our target, but still within the Hellesbach range, which means it was time to pitch our yeast. I'm using White Lab's WLP833 German Bach Lager, and it's the first time I'm brewing a Bach Lager, which means it's the first time that I'll be using this yeast. I'll be fermenting this beer at a more traditional cool lager temperature for 10 days before ramping it up to a slightly less cool temperature for 10 more days, and then cold crashing for 3 days. This gives plenty of time to go see some new sites if you've got anywhere to visit. I took a trip to see some cool rocks, which was pretty neat. After our fermentation and cold crashing schedule has concluded, it's time to transfer the beer over to my 2.6 gallon serving keg. This is where I let the beer carbonate and condition at around 14 psi for about two weeks before this pour and review. This late spring to early summer beer pairs great with, well, the outdoors. Outdoor grilled food, some meats, grilled vegetables, spicy foods, and yeah, even seafood if you want to put that on the grill. The Hellesbach is a relatively new style, at least in comparison to other Bachs and German lagers, and it kind of aims to split the difference between easy drinking but also flavorful and higher in the alcohol content range. Admittedly, Bachs are not usually my go-to drink. I might get a 4-6 to six ounce pour as part of a tasting, but usually not ordering a full pint. But I think the style of Hellesbach does a pretty good job of splitting the difference and pulling people like me over to the maltier side a little bit. I'm definitely getting caramel, toasty, and sweet on the nose, and that kind of follows through to the taste. It's a touch hoppy, but not quite as hoppy as some Hellas box or my box that I've tried. And even though the ABV is pushing up into the high 6%, I'm definitely not getting any unpleasant alcohol flavors or hotness. The color ended up pretty pale, but with a tinge of amber, and it's cleared up fairly well. Overall, it's reminding me of almost a stronger and maybe a little bit lighter Fest beer. Like a summer Fest beer, I guess. This is my first time brewing a Hellesbach or a Maibach, and I'm always interested in trying out a new style. And even though it's not my absolute favorite, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would, and I'm glad I tried it out. Cheers!